basically just, yeah, I'll, I'll do the speech. Uh, my life was boring. I just graduated from high school and was looking to start college. The thought of four more monotonous years of school was sickening. I decided to change the pace was due. I joined the Army and decided to go to airborne school. It's not as simple as that, though. You have to go through basic training at communication school, and then you actually get to go to airborne school. So in April 2007, I finally did all that and arrived in uh, Fort Benning, Georgia. The first lesson you teach is, you learn actually, is to not land on your head. Unlike traditional skydiving, we do not have the ability to maneuver the parachutes to land on our feet. Basically, you have to land by hitting the ground at like 20 miles per hour, and hopefully not break anything. If the goal is to land uh, feet, calf, thigh, butt, and back. But I usually just end up going feet, butt, head. That usually hurts. In the morning, you run about four miles every day. At the end of week two, we do a six mile run. Uh, during the second week, we jump from a 250 foot tower. It's more like a, a Disneyland ride. Basically, they hook you up to a parachute, lift you up, 250 feet obviously, and uh, drop you, and hope you, the wind doesn't blow you back into the tower. Uh, so, I actually landed that successfully. And then the final task before you jump is you have to put on all your gear and then run down to the actual jump site. That's about 50 pounds, it's not very fun. Uh, so then we get there and we actually put on our parachutes and uh, then we wait about three hours, which is probably the most nerve-wracking three hours of my life, and wait for the, the airplane to come. So we get on the airplane and basically fly around for about an hour, even though where you jump is only about two miles away from where you're going to take off from. So they just want to get you used to flying around for a couple hours. And then 10 people before me jumped, and so it was really nerve-wracking watching them jump out. And uh, then we got the commands to stand up, hook up to the static line, and then about five minutes later, the door opened and we all jumped. Uh, basically, I jumped out, parachute opened, and I landed safely without breaking any bones. Yeah.